when it comes to standing up um, for justice, when it comes to standing up for all Californians, we never take a day off, and today is no exception. And, you know, these, these, the, the public charge, talking about these public benefits as somehow their charity is, is so false. Uh, any society, any government that deems itself moral and responsible needs to take care of all of its people. And not only is that the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do. This fight is really about basic values. Parents and children belong together. Families need to make sure that their children are fed and not going hungry. Families need to make sure that everyone in the family, in the household, is taken care of and gets the Medi-Cal and Medicare uh, care that they need. These are the basic values that we all share, whether we are in immigrant families, like many of us, or not. As chair of the Aging and Long-Term Care Committee, I'm particularly troubled by the impact this is going to have on our elderly. Uh, when you take into account some of the factors, the Medicare Part D, Medicaid, Section 8 housing vouchers, uh, this is clearly, clearly targeting um, our parents, our grandparents, people that have sacrificed so much for us to have the lives that we are able to enjoy in this great country and in this great state. And so we cannot rest, we cannot stop, and we'll hold 100 more press conferences if we have to, but even more significantly, we need the community to stand up show up in the streets, to send the letters, send the comments. And I'm so grateful that we're joined by the diversity of what makes California great to stand up against this.